What's up, guys? Welcome to our first podcast. My name is Tweety. This is Saul, and we got Mario, and we're live with you. How are you guys doing? Doing amazing. Uh, I just want to apologize from the beginning. I do apologize for, you know, um, so taking a little bit longer uh, to start this. I know we introduced this a little bit too early, um, but we've just been caught up with our own lives. I know everyone's been super busy. Everyone has careers that have to worry about, but you know, we're here now, and I feel like it's the importance that we that we are here right now, and we just want to take care of it. Stop lying, fool. <laughs> <laughs> this was lying. Don't believe him. Don't believe him. He's lying. He's just capping you guys. He didn't so, want to be so on the podcast. The truth? What's the truth? That we're Tell just, us, sweetie. The, the truth is that we're just lazy as fuck and we don't want to talk this <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, Probably. We right? sounds like a lot of people, brother. We? Hey, but we're here now. No more retas. No, <laughs> that shit, no more. Hey, pull up to Lab 5. Have the homie Dre on. Be there and shit. <laughs> fuck yeah. that. We're locking, in, we're locking in the podcast now. Yeah. So it, 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 it came to that conclusion. We're, we get, we're knocking it off. This is a hoodie. A of, this is one of the hoodies. Turn around. Vuelta. A lot of people think that we don't have that we're not plotting or anything, but trust me, we have merch coming, we have everything. We have high expectations for what we do, and we're working on it. Okay, we've done a lot of it, not a lot, but like the tournament that we did uh, with the you homie Keko. No, I think that. Um, and we didn't realize how much time and energy it was going to take, you know? This shit, bro, <laughs> this shit, like, low-key, like, anyone that has a podcast or, like, that does, like, any of that vlogging, props to you guys because that shit's a hassle, huh? It uh, is. You know, and I think, like, one of the biggest things, too, is, like, putting us three together at the same time, you know? Somewhere at the same time, at the same time, with the clear schedule to kind of be and have that time to be with each other to kind of start this off. You fools are fucking busy as fuck. It's, it's hard to get a hold of you, fools. I can imagine when you fools blow up. Oh, uh, bro, honestly, like, it, it's crazy, bro. Like, we, sometimes we don't have time to hit each other back up or, like, we get a missed car or whatever it is, you know, but we're, we're super busy. Um, you know how it is. You're a barber. Working the restaurant yeah, what, business. What do you guys do? do hospitality. Hospitality? Hospitality. How's that? Um, it's awesome, bro. Um, you know what I've always been told, like, can do whatever you want, but as long as uh, you're happy with it and it doesn't feel like a job, then you're doing it right. And that's how I feel. Um, not a job to me. So we basically work in the restaurant business. So uh, hospitality is one of the key factors that we have to make sure that everyone content. And you know, it's a lot. You know, it'd be a lot. Um, oh, I, of course, I I understand. You know, you guys. Busy as fuck all day from the morning till night. I'm pretty sure what well, you guys are leaving. What well, like, a.m. on a good day. <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, you know, it's just on 24 seven, and you kind of like what I tell everybody. You know what time, um, go in, but you don't really know what time you're leaving. Yeah. Um, and same thing with you. You know, um, let's get into you. You know, like you don't know what you're gonna do that day. I guess because there's been times, bro, where we're like, hey, like Tweety, like what's up? Like what are you doing? It's all right, like, you commit to something, and then, like, five minutes later, you're, like, on Instagram blowing up with somebody. Uh, <laughs> like, how how is that, bro? Honestly, I mean, like, how you said it's true. Like, shit, I'll, I'll come in in the morning, bro. I won't be leaving here till, like, fucking nine and eight. Late as fuck, you know? And I don't even know who the fuck, like, people ask me, like, oh, how many heads do you have? And I'm like, shit, I don't even know. Bro. I don't even know my schedule. I just know I have someone every 30, 40 minutes. Oh, and some food comes in. I'm like, shit, I got. That. <laughs> but no, I mean, it's it's a hassle too, you know. Like obviously, it's different barber to like hospitality. What you guys do, um, a lot though. There's a, there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, think about it. Everyone that comes into my chair, different personality. We want to make them good, feel comfortable, and all that. So there's a lot that goes into it. Uh, at the, at I the bet day, you know. And I'm, I feel like on top of it, like. Everyone says, like, it's a haircut or whatever, but it's not really a haircut, like, It's not a haircut, customer, it's a lifestyle. It's, it's to the customer, bro, like, you're their psychologist, you know? Like, how, <laughs> much, how much cheese have you, have you heard? Uh, like, no cap. 
I've heard a lot of shit, bro. It's crazy. You guys, say we could we could be here all night, which we technically are already, because it's already what one a.m. As you guys can see, it's one a.m. already. <laughs> so I mean, we could be up here all night. Um, bro, bro, but the cheese make gets hot. Oh, it gets crazy, bro. Like what's what's like the what's craziest it? thing people have vented <laughs> to you about? The craziest shit. No cap. That's like a Super Bowl ring. A Super Bowl ring. <laughs> <laughs> um, God damn. Be honest, bro. Be honest. Be honest, bro. Honestly. See, there's a lot of shit that, like, that I just can't say, though. Like, I don't know if it's safe enough to say, like. Oh, like that. <laughs> it's like that, bro. Damn. It's, it's a lot of shit like that, like, that, like, I could get in trouble for. Oh, yeah. But not, yeah. like, not, like, over, like, oh, like. Tweety said on your on his podcast that so and so and so and so. Yeah, like, but no names, you know. Oh, but it's just I'm confidential, you know. I'm not gonna say no anything worries, that no the, worries, that no the, my clients say to me. Oh, yeah. But just the craziest shit for sure. The craziest. Well, last time you went and spilled the beans with everybody, what I told you. Oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> about what? No, but, uh, we'll, we'll get to that later, <laughs> but but yeah, all right. I feel like where you're coming from. Um, I feel like a lot of people come into our restaurant feeling the need to talk to somebody. I, I feel like that's, that's why they go there. Because a lot of people go, um, they don't have no one to talk to at home. They don't have whatever it is, you know, they might not have family. I don't know, whatever their situation might be, but they, they come to the restaurant and they talk to us. You know? um, at the restaurant that we're at, um, I feel like we're very welcoming and everyone that comes into the restaurant, we, we try to make them feel so that's something that we, we definitely ch- try to work on every day. How can we make it? And, you know, sometimes someone needs someone to talk to. Yeah, of what course. Think <laughs> I think everybody, like, here in time needs somebody and to talk to. And a green T-shot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Little Mexican candy on the, shot on, on, the, on the house. Should you use uh, your Dre on promo code? Uh, Dre on what is promo it? code. Dre. Add Dre on caps. Uh, Dre. With the, uh, <sighs> But oh, yeah, fuck yeah, I mean, like, like you said, <laughs> um, everybody needs like somebody like here and there, you know. Um, and I feel like you find those places, you know, somewhere you feel comfortable, and I think that's the importance of it, you know. Like you said, you know, we were trying to get you to spill the tea, but you didn't spill it, you know. And now we know, or all your clients know, that they can spill whatever tea they want, and it's confidential with you, you know. Oh, um, that's how it is. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, somebody needs someone, and you need someone to find that comfort with. Um, but yeah, I think it's important, man. I mean, that's kind of like one of the things that you deal with, that we deal with, that we have similarities. But, yeah, there's so much to get into, man. Um, wow, what are they spill with you guys? Not about a spilling issue. What know. do they talk about? You know what? I feel like the people that get that the most are probably, like, except for a bartender, um, like, with them, with them. Like the homies over here cooking the fucking... Yeah, uh, like, you know what? Like, yeah, like, traditionally, like, with Japanese, like, when them drinking, they would drink with, like, the chefs. Um, but they would go like close big business deals and stuff. But you know, we don't spill um, whatever our customers say, right? Bro, I just can't. Cause <laughs> with me, it's a little more like we're I'm good. A, we're I'm, good. I'm on a one-on-one. That's why. So easily, they're gonna be like, "Oh, I know who." Ah, uh, sure. it'll be a little more easier. You guys, I mean, how many like thousands of people step in there? So it's you don't know who the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it is, um, it's cool, bro. Like I said, like, it, there's that confidentiality, and you feel like you can speak to somebody, but, yeah, like, with the barber shop, like, I feel like that's what you get, and kind of, like, you don't really know, like, what I was saying, it's, like, where you're going to end up your last cut, you know? Like, you get those random phone calls where it's, like, maybe it's an artist, a celebrity, um, or just you really don't know, and they're just kind of like, hey, like, you got an extra cut oh, available? It's, it's so crazy, like... What's like the randomest haircut you've done? Yeah, like, like time wise, like you're like on your way home after a long day, thinking about what you're gonna eat, and then boom, you get that DM. One, or like most shocking that you didn't expect. Uh the most randomest one was probably when, uh, it was like on a Tuesday, and like Tuesdays, you know, usually I cut tu- Tuesday through Saturdays, and I was just on like on a Tuesday's my slow day, you know, as a week starts it's slow, so I was already like, uh, the one a freshie on Tuesday, cause by the weekend yeah, you're, I'm like, you're burned who, who out. Who wants a freshie on a Tuesday, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it was a Tuesday, and um, 
I was here at the shop, whatever. I was finishing up already, like, around 5. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go home and, you know, be with the fam. And I got a text from Grupo Frontera. Hey. Yeah, so I got a text from them, and I was like, what? And I got, shout out to the homie Beto. I got a text from him. He's like, oh, ¿qué onda? Soy Beto, de Grupo Frontera. You know, estamos aquí en Los Angeles. That night, that time, it was actually, like, in January when that, that one song is, um, the one they have with Fuerza Regida, the... That one. So that's when that that song that's was crazy, was that, fucking huge, trending. That song huge. was trending at that time. Yeah. And that's when they hit me up. They're like, oh yeah, we're here in um like in El Monte, like in oh, fuck. That ass, crazy, bro. bro. So I was like, shit. I was like, yeah. I'm like, where's it? send me that? <laughs> I'm over here thinking like in downtown or something. But they're like, oh. I was like, oh shit. I like bet you know I'll, I'll pull up, bro. I've pulled up to like the craziest spots. Like how far was it? El Monte from here, probably like 45 minutes, like almost an hour. But low key, that was a fight. It was, oh, it was a Tuesday night, my bad. It was a Tuesday Damn, night. Damn, you capping us on the story, bud. No, no, it was a Tuesday <laughs> night, my bad. I'm <laughs> but Tuesday went a Friday, went back to Tuesday. No, but no. It, it was like last minute. So you were just like, whatever you had today, like to cut, but they just hit you up randomly. So you're yeah, like, they fuck, hit, like, they were you at the shop or like you're already done on your way home? I was already, I was already done. I was already cleaning up and shit. And then after that, they're like, they're like, yo, what's up, Kenda? Like, soy Beto, and they, they know they, uh, they, they, they're like, they're like, well, they send, me, they send me your number, and I was like, oh shit, I was like, who sent me your, my number? You know, I was like, I gotta be doing something right. Um, but what, I didn't ask him that obviously, but <laughs> they, 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 uh, he texted me, and I was like, yeah, bro, I was like, let me know, and he kind of, he kind of lagged a little bit because, I mean, I guess he was closing a deal somewhere else. Um, but I pulled up, bro. I pulled up and I cut up everybody. I cut up the homie Brian, which is a bass player. I cut up uh, the engineer. I cut up Julian, which is the one that takes care of the, like the tamboleras, the congos. Oh yeah, bro, that's I, fucking badass. I did badass. Uh, Payo, the homie <laughs> Payo, badass singer. That's I, dope, bro. I did uh, Beto too, which is badass. You know, yeah. plays the guitar and everything. And then they also did a shout out too. I was I was letting them know how like I you know I cut up Grupo Firme and all that. And then he's like, no way. Like, I also saw you cut a group of and like yeah. the Rams and all that. And then he's like, he's like, hey, you mind sending him a video? Which I have, and we could play it here. And he's like, let's send like a little shout out to AB and like the whole group of Firme. So I recorded it off my phone and I sent it to them. And then the homie no, AB, which is AB is the guy from Group of Firme. Yeah. He's like, oh, shit, that's badass. ¿Qué tal, carnal? Saludos a mi compita Abraham de Grupo Firme. Aquí mandando un saludo a tus carnales aquí Grupo Frontera, carnal. Eventually, after that, like a month or something, they had a uh, exclusiva. They have premi yeah, bro. <laughs> this is something I have. I don't really tell everyone. They had yeah. premios los nuestro in um in Florida in Miami, and the homie's like, yo, he's like, we met Grupo Frontera, and he's like, that you were brought into the conversation. I was like, no way. So like, obviously at that point they're doing their own thing where they're like collab collaborating, you know, like. The music labels, you know, knowing this guy and that. Because they don't know each other, you know. At yeah. the end of the day, like, the people at the top, dog, you know, collaborating. So, um, he told me that, and I was like, damn, I'm like, that's, that's fucking hard. And then later on, months later, you know, they come out with that one song. Um, and that shit was a banger, too, that, bro. That one was a banger, too. So, it's, that's one of the craziest, like, that, like, I'm like, damn, bro, like, whoever, I'm not saying I, like, didn't have anything to do with that, but, like, just knowing that, like, I had that connection. It was able to like go a long way that I was like, wow, I know both parties and I was brought into that conversation. And he told me like, you know, pull out the receipt. You guys <laughs> believe me. I've always had like, you know, that thought in my head, like, you know, I always want to accomplish this. I want to accomplish that. And seven years, I'm like, fuck, bro. Like in a blink of an eye, I feel like it's gone by so fast, you know? So I've just, I've, I've put my all into it. And I feel like obviously I have more that I could do, but I'm, I'm thankful for what I've achieved, you know? Like, but it's not like, it's not easy because it's so like, much competition, you know. But after like before I cut you off now, before I cut you off now, I just want to bring back the time that um he barely first started barbering. He was like, when I fucked their ass up, yeah, he was like, the first hey, come to my house, bro. Like I got you. Like you don't need to like you don't need to pay me. Fuck, bro, me trasquilo a verga. So, Metrasquilo, whatever, whatever. He was, <laughs> and he even asked me, he was like, hey, you think it's fresh? I was like, yeah. Cool. Like, <laughs> I, I, like, I was like, yeah, bro, like, not to make him feel bad. Like, he was starting off and shit, you know? Like, you have to be a homie. 
But no mames. Um, how long, the, how long, the homie even posed for the... Listen, I was listen, like, yo, listen, let me listen. get a pick of your... On top of that, how long no. was that cut? Listen, I didn't know until... Like, that shit was 60 no, bucks. I didn't know that. Night. How long, how long? No, that night, I went to a club. They took a video of me. I have the video. Yeah, you, were yeah, I have the video. you were clubbing at 17? <laughs> I, I went out. They took a video of me from the back. I was dancing with someone. How are you so dancing? How are you, you dancing? You see that shit like... How are you dancing though? How are you yeah. dancing? Show us, show us, show us. Nah. We might put the... Video. Nah, I no, no, not. show us, show us. How are you uh, dancing? Nah. But... I'm getting away from the... You trust... No, uh, bro, we could upload my video. It's cool. It's like... That but goes to like everyone that's starting. <laughs> no, that shit was pretty bad. Like, it, it was, wasn't even blended in. It was just like... But like, no, instead it of It like was like the, the homies. Shape, it was like... No way. It was a mamada. <laughs> but I was like, fuck it though. Like, <laughs> like you're the homie and shit, you know? Like, fuck yeah, it. Yeah. Hey, you're a real one though. Hey. Not, hey, honestly, bro, not a lot of people were down to get a haircut by me. Now, yeah. that, nowadays, are my fucking clients. Like, now they're like, bro... You fucking got me fucking right. I can't wait. Tomorrow I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Hey, but I, I, I remember that a lot of people were like, fuck that by Tootie. I'm not going to get a fucking hey, haircut. Honestly, They're like, this will leave me a fucking line. And it's cool, bro. I did leave lines. I could, I, we, could, we could put like a whole montage of all the haircuts I did. Where I was leaving lines. But then we could like fast forward to like now or a couple of years back. Yeah. Bro, it's a big difference. Well, honestly, bro, like, the way that, like, from the beginning, like, he, he just started cutting, and he was just like, fuck it, like, we, like, he didn't ask for anything, but we still paid him, bro, because we obviously respect the hustle, we, we respect the grind, but, metrasilonas uh, pinches veces, but I forgive him, because right now, papita, huh? he's a man, bro. <laughs> Rizzy. Rizzy. Huh. <laughs> I did, though, bro, thinking about it, like, I, when I've seen those clips that I have of Saul, like, fuck, fuck, I did fuck this up. You, I fucked, I fucked, I fucked up him, Chris, Eric, Juan, a bunch of them, bro. Like, I think I was just like shy with the fucking clipper, cause like they'll be like, "Yo, do me a mid fade," and I'll just fucking tape. No, up. hey, right now he takes an hour. Before he took four and a half hours. But hey, but the conversations are badass, so I can't complain, G. I don't even remember about those. Oh. Nah, I just kidding. Nah, nah, I'm kidding. No, the, it was a vibe though when you and Chris would pull up and we're just climbing. <laughs> we're, we're fucking around you know it was just a vibe obviously like you were starting off but i didn't care if you fucking like took a while but you did um, <laughs> i took like the whole like your eight to 12 huh no bro it was a minute but seeing your growth that's fucking amazing bro thank you pa thank you guys no i mean like i've always said you know i'm, I'm always very thankful for like everyone that supported me like along the way everyone that's you know been there on my chair helped me out it's it's helped me in like every aspect because everyone's hair is different dealing with like different personalities you know totally different so like that's helped me like grow like working with different type of people you know people 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 that <laughs> people that you know that are up there people that are down here like everyone bro i give them the same treatment and at That's how end. it should be at the end of the day, I feel. I think one of the biggest things is, like, you don't know what it took for them to get your haircut, and it shouldn't be a lot less or a lot more, depending on how they got that money, you know? And, and I say that because I'm like, people are like, damn, bro, like, you're doing this and that. Like, I thought you were going to charge more. And I'm like, bro, like, or like, oh, really, bro? I thought you were gonna... And I'm like, no, bro, like, it's cool, bro. Like, it don't matter if I cut up yeah. so-and-so and so-and-so. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make... It's not going to change me just because I want to go cut up fucking LeBron James and all of a sudden I come back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to act different on you. Like, there's no, there's no need for that, you know? There's, there's no difference, you know? It's the same. We're all the same, you know? Hey, so, so do you still pay him the same amount as you do from the first Trasquilada to now? <laughs> there shouldn't be a difference. That's something that uh, we have to talk off, <laughs> off cameras. Off, off cameras. <laughs> not on. There's, there's a differential here. A pay difference. No, now, now I have a, a ceviche stock, for those of you guys wondering. <laughs> so now, Is that okay uh, with Edwin or no? <laughs> it's the meme. Now, now, now <laughs> actually, I got a, a drown roll coupon. Drown roll? What is that? A drown roll. What is that? You've never heard oh, of the drown roll? Look, look at it, pa. Wait, I can't oh. see it. I can't see it. Hey, that's a new deluxe that? roll that we just came out with. So, Drayon, uh, thank you. Drayon, you're a proud sponsor of La Vision. Drayon, guys, Drayon has helped out very little, but... Nah. That's pretty harsh, bro. Nah, I'm just kidding. Like, come on, come no, on. No, 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 no. Give uh, the boys flowers. <laughs> no, 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 no. boys flowers. <laughs> Drayon deserves nah, nah. his flowers, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with you guys. Drayon, has actually, Drayon has actually helped us out a lot. 
Yeah, got these hoodies, you know, the ones that we got on. So I already did the vuelta. Hey, hold it. Hey, hey, hey. Same thing, different. It's the same color. thing, but just a different color. So those of you guys that are interested, make sure you guys hit us up. We're gonna drop the shirts right here. We got shirts, hoodies. Thank you, Jayon. Thank you guys for always showing love, always supporting us. And we just got a new Drayon drop. So please make sure to go show some love to Drayon as well. One eight hundred Drayon. Link below. Link below. Link in the description below. If you hit, if you put the code Lavision, you will get zero point five off, <laughs> <laughs> which is nothing. <laughs> which is compared to. No, but for real though, shout shout out to Drayon. He he helped us out a lot. Like ever since we started. Shit, Jayon was actually the one of the first ones that were like, yo, we want to start a podcast. And he's like, I got you guys. What do you guys want to do? And then we're like, you know, well, we want to come up with this logo. which is a logo that we have now. And then after that, we're like, we want to do this and that. And then, he's like, Shh, I got you guys. So we're not going to drop those yet. We're, you know, we're eventually going to drop them. We have them, but this is something for later down the road, which is, you know, something we can't wait, you know, to drop. Yeah, just a quick shout out to Jayon. Like I said, uh, since we've been talking about this uh, since the beginning, he was one of the first, one of the first people that were there with us, you know, to make this and to make this uh, vision a reality. And we're here now. Super grateful to get this started and uh, to people that we're gonna get here. I- I'm honestly excited. You know, time has come, and like I said, like we're installing. We have been, but the the new people that we get here is gonna be amazing. Super excited. I think, I think um, it took us a little bit, but I think we've kind of been strategizing and we've been working on a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff that now we just kind of want to keep spitting content out. Uh, we have a lot of stuff lined up for you guys, a lot of special guests, a lot of subjects. Um, to the honor, get right into that to kind of give them a little preview of what they should be expecting. I, honestly, like the lineup that we have lined up for you guys, I don't, I don't think you guys are ready. See, though, the thing, though, about us, La Vision, we're a little diverse. You know, the name should say it. It has a double meaning. You could say it in Spanish, La Vision, or in English, LA Vision, right? Which we all have a vision of, like, what our goal is at the end. Like, a lot of people always like, what's the podcast about? What's this and that? Like, we have a goal of, like, getting all the people that, like, we're working with, our friends, our family, to, like, work together and, like, help everyone, you know, unite and make it out at the end of the day. So a lot of people, like, Past that, and that's our ultimate goal at the end of the day. Like working with like the people at the top and bringing all those people that you know, a homie that does that plays music, a homie that has a business in clothing, a homie that has a business in food. Our goal is to like help them out and like connect with them, and it it doesn't cost us anything. Like there's no need for us to be like, yo, like yeah, we're gonna charge you this much just to like connect you with that person, because. It's nothing like we understand that you know uh i think the biggest thing is just building a community exactly. that's the biggest thing like whether it's up here or here it's just building that community and having it like help each other out you know and i think like talking about like community and something we were talking about earlier is just like the whole regional mexican music bro like that community that it's built right now it's like leading the top boards and like everything bro and i feel for like a while that itself didn't really like everyone was kind of independent you know yeah. like you saw like reggaetoneros you saw like you saw rappers you saw you saw <laughs> everybody doing their own thing but like, the mexican, <laughs> mexican like regional music was just kind of like independent and they recently built like this community which is like killing the game bro like top charts it's like mexican 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 honestly like i love mexican music the fact that everything is like live, you know, like you listen to like recotoneros rap or whatever it is, it's like a beat, the DJ like producing it, and there it's like you gotta get like five, ten, fifteen, twenty guys like all on the same page to make sure your song comes out clean. Over here, it's just like you gotta make sure that your DJ dropped the beat. I'm not saying it in a bad way or anything because that takes the skill and everything, but I think like that music. Hey, is what a do you whole got against DJs, level. pop? 
We got a DJ in the house. <laughs> nah, but. Yeah, you know, like, it, that's just, like, my perspective on it, and it's just, like, huge. And that's something we want to build, too. Like, just a community to kind of link people together, you know? Yeah. Giving them that, like, source. Like, a one shop all, like, with the community. Of, of course, bro. I agree with you. Shit. something. I, I, I understand, like, how that, that is. Like, with me, that's something that, like, I always relied on, like, word of mouth, you know, getting a hand from, oh, you know, help me out. They connect me with this person. And same thing with, like, a bunch of other people that, like, are waiting for that opportunity, you know. It's, it's honestly, that's all it is, you know. People, like, fuck, I want to work with this person. And it's just, we we could be that person. It doesn't, it doesn't cost us anything, you know. Yeah. You're not going to be like, yo, give me this to help you out, you know. Yeah. And it's how you said, like, it's like how we said. It's about, like, getting the whole community together. What At the end of the day, like, it, it makes us glad seeing this homie win, seeing that homie win, seeing that homie win. It's there's like no need for like envy like he's at the top he he got this this, this and that like there's no need for that bro you know because at the end of the day we know where we came from you know that's simple everyone started from the bottom <laughs> is that simple everyone I think started now from the it's so much simpler than before because now we all have a platform you know like social media is like crazy right now bro like you know. Like, before, it would be it is a lot harder, you know? Like, even, like, way back then, like, there was, just like, the yellow books or whatever, like, yeah, to find stuff. Like, right oh, now? The yellow <laughs> books. Yeah. I forgot those. <laughs> You're, like, go on that fucking yellow yeah. book or not go to, to the lavanderia and then fucking put little papers and write your number down. Yeah. And we're, like, buscamos DJ. Busca DJ. Aquí but llame. right now, bro, it's, like, uh, crazy, like, right bro. now, like, I jump on my phone and we can find, like, whatever we want, you know? Like, we want food delivered. We want this. We want that. Instantly, bro. And we're, like... In an era where it's just so different, you know? And, oh, very and, different. Very and with different. everything, we kind of have to adapt, you know? Yeah, of course. Um, of course. But, yeah, it's crazy. And I think, like, this can be, like, that platform and community for people to kind of, like, put stuff together, I think. Like, like you know what? Like, like, it's like crazy. right now, like, you know, shout out shout out to Social Barbershop for the hospitality. Want to give them a huge thanks. Come Woo! through. Come through, Crispy. Come through, bro. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy, pa. Don't, Don't be, be shy. shy we talked about this. Get a little shot. Get a little. Get a little rizzy. Get a little rizzy. A little rizzy. Light one. Light one. Light one. Light one. Light one. Casa amigos, cause he's going to mi casa. All right, Tweety, <laughs> you go next. <laughs> Tweety goes next, so we're gonna pass it around. Tweety goes next. Tweety goes next. Hey. We're gonna pass it around. Ponle, ponle. Hey, bro. Hey, you don't have to say that, man. That's off camera. That's off camera, shit, man. Hey, whatever happens. See? Somehow. Ended up at social, baby. Hey, we gotta move that sign over here. <laughs> uh, rent's gonna go up next week because we gotta get a new sign. Uh, ready for it? Uh, <laughs> the, the booth rent's gonna go up. Hey, Chris, um, so this is your shop, you know, like, how long ago did you open this location up? How did it all start, bro? Party, bro, with my brother, bro, we weren't able to afford to get a cut. Yeah. And it was like, one, uh, my dad, he just bought us a little home set. Hey. Yeah, uh, I, just, I use that to, like, keep myself clean in between visits at the shop. Started looking at, like, little YouTube videos, this and that, you know what I mean? And then uh, my little brother, bro, Adrian, Bader, he was fucking, what, like, like in fourth, fifth grade? Damn. Bader. And, Bader. Yeah, I started looking at YouTube videos, and uh, one time I was like. <laughs> you know that? That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Well, when, because I used to get my haircuts before Tweety with, with Adrian. I used to go to your guys' house. I don't know if you guys live together, Pokoima, whatever huh? it is. Were right there in Pacoima? In Pacoima, bro. Who started cutting first? You or him? Uh, I did, yeah. Oh, Visited us at, at the little sh- setup that we had yeah, in our room yeah. right there in Pacoima. Oh, that was crazy. You oh. were cutting there too? Uh, in, that, in that room? At that you, time, bro, I had, ar- I had already uh, started working at a shop and the agent started picking it up, you know? At Willie's. <laughs> <laughs> over, here, over here in Reseda called Frank's Barbershop. And the funny story is, like, I, I got Adrian to work there as, like, a little little sweeper, this and that, charging clients, you know. And But I told him, I was like, hey, bro, like, just look at all of us cup, bro. And who knows, bro, you might like it. Oh. And one day, he yeah, one day he gave, he gave me a call, and he was like, uh, do, you, do you ever know uh, Juan? Juan Pri? Yeah. Oh, yeah, his homie. His yeah, homie. He wanted yeah. somewhere, huh? Yeah. yeah. He gives me a call, and he was like, hey, bro, I just gave Juan a cut. I'm like, for real? How it come out? He's in the, <laughs> he's in the pick, and I was like, no way. That's Kilo? 
Be honest. Draskies or no Draskies? Did you have to go fix it? Be honest. Did you fuck them up? Straight up. Draskies or no Draskies? I'll be I'll be honest. I'll let you guys tell it, but 50-50. I might have that still in the message thread, bro. Hey, like we were talking about earlier, like, Oh, you wake up slowly, but bro, that's and and the thing is, bro, hard work don't lie, bro. Put it in, bro. That thing will catch up to you, bro, and it teach you the blessings. You know what I mean? Of hours you put, in. yeah, bro. And especially barbering, bro, or any industry, bro. It really pays you for the time that you put in. You know what I mean? Like it's like stay consistent, bro. Find tail grow, bro. From it's crazy. You know, we have the results right here from. No, but you. You're no. killing. You're killing it, bro. Uh, you know what I mean. How many cha- how many chairs do you have? Right now it's uh twenty. Yeah, shit, bro. Twenty and uh oh, uh, it's eighteen of us right now. We just nice. had a new barber come in today, but it's just like it's it's more than a blessing, bro. But dope, hard work, but hundred percent. Like like what you guys do, you know. If it was easy, everything everybody would do it. What 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 are your future plans? Like you're you're at max capacity basically. I keep doing this. It's yeah, right now. I think we solidified we solidified social like as a brand. You know what I mean? And it's just like the goal will be to have multiple shops, and then the dream will be to be able to franchise this thing, like not ha- not have to work. <laughs> <laughs> this, this 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 what I say, bro. If Supercuts Bro is making millions, bro, off Selling whack haircuts. Why can't we do it selling fresh fire haircuts? Fake. Oh. You know what I mean? Hey, do you guys need a... Okay, so like, you have to kind of try out. Whenever a new barber comes in... So let me give a little backstory on that. Like <laughs> like before, that was the move. You know, you bring a little demo in, you, yeah. you cut them up in front of the owners type of thing, see, see what you got. Yeah. But nowadays, it's like social media has become such an important factor in our industry, bro, that it's just like... Social media is a barber's resume. You know what I mean? And it's like, like oh, like, yeah, let you me know. See your, let me see your Instagram. Let me see the cuts. Yeah. Oh, who you cut? Oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and it's it? like I've had some barbers that came in with no social media, and it's just like, hey, can uh, can you bring a little demo in? I just go based off that. You know, if I see the the potential of them, like, all right, you know, they're not that good, but see them like are being able to yeah, grow or like or a nice foundation type of thing, you know, on them to build on type of. Thing. Have you turned anybody down yet? I have. Yeah? Part yeah. of it, huh? Yeah, just because I've known them from other other shops I worked at, and I was like, yeah, this is not the type <laughs> of energy that, that we need, you know? Call you mean? back. <laughs> yeah. T- type of shit. Yeah, I feel like that's huge. Meeting someone and just figuring out what their goal is, you know, what their ambition is, you know? You want someone that's going to be dedicated for your company for, you know, it might be for a little bit, it might be for a while, or whatever it is, you know? But you uh, kind of, that first... The first foundation when you talk to them it's and that's kind of like what i look for bro because it's like my goal when me and my brother and, and our partner open up now, bro is just like have people come in here bro build their clientele build a solid foundation bro and then go go ahead and do what we did go open up your shop go move to a better opportunity go make more money you know and then open up the chair that you're working on to, to a new barber talking about foundation stuff and i think like it goes a long way you know work ethic too like right. it goes a long way bro um, I think regardless of what you do, if you have those work ethics and kind of get to whatever you want, you know, uh, people say like you got to be at the right place at the right time. But I think like with those things, like it's a whole nother two, three steps ahead of the game. Every shop I worked at, bro, I learned good and bad things, bro. You know, from every sh- a shop that I worked at, I learned good things. Bad things. Like, you know what? Let's take the notes. But yeah, I think um, I think that it's it's huge, you know, and I think like. There's so many things, and I think you already pioneered yourself to, like, the future of, like, where you want to stand. And yeah, yeah. and there's a lot of people that want to be entrepreneurs, just like um, you. Uh, but what, like, before we get a quick break, uh, what advice or something do you have just to kind of close it off before we go on break? Like, do you have for someone, like, trying to tap into, like, the barbering and trying to be an entrepreneur? I would say, bro, the best thing you can do, bro, is just try to stay consistent, bro, because, like, bro... Hey, they bro, slow feet don't eat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's hey, right. Like that so, let, so let's keep it moving. <laughs> that was a good one. Right? Yeah. Hey, Crispy, honestly. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Crispy, for, you know, hospitality, for allowing us to be here. 
Uh, shoot our podcast. It honestly means a lot for us. You know, this is a beautiful barbershop, which is one of the main reasons also why social come in here and work and all that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, there, it's an honor to have you here, bro. It's an honor to have you guys. Appreciate Thank that, you. guys. And whenever you guys need a fresh cut, whether it's from Tweety or any of the barbers, including Crispy, make sure to check out Social, social Barbershop. I don't want to pop out. But we'll be right back. We're going to take a quick little break. We'll be back, guys. Awesome, guys. And we're back from our quick little break. Um, I think we should kind of jump in and tell the audience kind of how we kind of really met each other and where this all kind of really started. Going to get into that, so with uh, you and Tweety. Let's say, like, I, I've known Tweety since we are in elementary school. We kind of built that bond. Honestly, we, we kind of didn't know each other until, like, what, high school? No, oh, I mean, a little, we knew each middle other. School. We knew each other at middle school. It's because Sal's a year older than me. Um, Ruko. I'm the, I'm the baby. Yeah, I'm the baby of the, of the group. He's a Ruko. <laughs> Don Sal. Don Sal. Don Sal is right here. This is where it started from. But, yeah, no, we, we did a... I know Sal, obviously, from elementary, from when he would play with soccer with GVFC, right? Cruz Azul. And then in middle school, also from Frost and Granada Hills. <laughs> I used to buy tortas from Sal. <laughs> she, we're going to jump into that story right now. Um, and then in high school, too. I mean, we played together in high school as well. Well, for sure, we go way back. The moment. So, look, I don't know if you remember this, but one time you came over to my house, you and Manny, you guys came over. and we're. This is during, like, I think my 10th grade year, your 11th grade year. And we're like, yo, let's go train, like, play soccer. And we did, and I, I think, I, I think I have this like picture. Or Manny has this picture, and we <laughs> took a fucking selfie together. All we're right. all like, we're like training. It was like after practice, like on a Friday. Yeah. So like, instead of like all the other people that like are partying, partying, drinking, and all this shit, we all three of us, Manny, yeah. Saul, and myself, we all went and we were practicing like soccer, which is basically what got us connected. Like literally, soccer yeah. connects a lot of people, which is something that we're gonna dive into later on. That. How it's helped out our homies and a lot of things, you know. But well, we won't jump into that topic right now. But that's mainly the one thing. And I mean, obviously, seeing how you were, like you were dope as fuck. You were cool as fuck with all of us, and everyone could tell you that, you know. I, I remember those times. Anywhere we could play, practice our free kicks, fucking practice our touches. Obviously, that's when we were in high school. And in our high school season, we took everything very serious, you know. Like, yeah, bro. Like coming. Back to that, that shit was insane, bro. The little, the little Jonah Hill, bro. I, <laughs> Is it true that they used to call you that, or like they I did? Yeah, they used to call me Little Jonah Hill. Honestly, I was huge before. No, no, I'm not saying that aspect. I'm just saying oh, like in the face. yes, the cloud. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, I'm honest. Like I used to be big, like big, and then a low key like like a John, like a Jonah Hill from Superbad or which one? Yeah, you like, know. I, honestly, I, I was pretty big, bro, and honestly. Like, I look in high school, but, yeah, bro, like, I, I, I used to be pretty big, bro, and I used to get, like, oh, like, this, whatever, whatever, and that motivated me. Hey, bro. Take, take us down. How'd you, like, flip that? Like, how'd you turn that? Because I know that's, like, a huge obstacle yeah. for a lot of people. Yeah. Like, even cutting down five pounds and all that, I, I know it's huge. But, like, for you, how was that, like, switching, you know, all that? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a good topic to bring up because during uh high school um obviously i was very insecure about my weight or whatever it was um ninth grade year bro i didn't make the team make the team i was honestly overweight whatever it was um wait you didn't play ninth grade year ninth year i didn't i was in ninth grade so so i tried out i didn't make whatever blah blah, blah. so um 10th and 11th i didn't i didn't really play or i didn't Get the opportunity to like try out or whatever. Um, I think uh, I knew someone that told me to try out, yeah. and then uh, I was like, "Fuck it, bro!" I wasn't even gonna try out, bro. I was like, "Fuck it!" Like, they fucking yeah. turned me down. Fuck that! I'm not gonna try no more, huh? <laughs> yeah, bro. And then at that time, I was like, "Fuck!" I was still playing club soccer or whatever. Um, uh, but then I tried out. And I played and I was good. And then coming like twelfth grade, I, I took it very serious. Coming to twelfth grade, fuck the ball had to pass by Saul in order for us to score. It had to go through Saul. Yeah. It's like, like Messi. It's like every goal it had to go through Saul. 
like I, I was grinding i was big I, i'd be on my treadmill every single day i was like i envisioned myself whenever i see like the higher class thing i was like dude i want to be that one hour hey like Fuck this fool, fuck that ham, fuck him. I want his position. No, not even like no, that, no. Bro. But, it, <laughs> but but like honestly, like Damn. not not being like that, no, not I'm being like, a, not being a dick yeah. though. But like at the end of the day, like because you you're playing at that high level, right. so you kind of gotta it, you gotta be hungry. Because if you're competing with something that's a little lower than your level, then you're never gonna be up there. So you gotta kind of at practice, you gotta be hustling. Like oh, young, like bro, I, I want like, I, who wants who wants some more at the end of the day, you 100%. know. Out of the side came in or whatever it was. Like, honestly, I used to sit on the bleacher seeing them. I was like, Oh, huh? yeah. So, whatever it is, like 12th grade came, bro. Fucking practice. Really and, hard. And, you know, I mean, that year and like the team that we had, like, honestly, like, I was one of the biggest assets player of the year whatever it is but first team all conference all that huh like it, it was amazing from coming from nothing and like getting motivated from like my high school coach to give me giving me that opportunity you know like it was insane <clears throat> i don't really take uh i took so soccer so serious but like giving giving me that motivation coming from nothing and you know developing to the person that i was in high school pretty amazing I, honestly I, i think that's that's very huge because those of you that like played sports not just soccer obviously you know you guys know it's it's very competitive and it's it's not easy to come in especially how you said you didn't make the team ninth grade so like at that point it's like you're kind of like a step behind because other guys already have the exposure so you're coming in and you got to prove your point which you came in and how you said You were putting put, putting in hours into it. You were going on the treadmill at home. You were going on your runs. You were practicing and all that. Look, it paid off. Eventually, you also went on to play college ball, right? Yeah. Which is badass because a lot of people don't get that opportunity to, you know, continue playing college ball. And, bro, like, everyone that knows you here in the Valley, those of you that know Saul obviously know, like, you know, Saul, Timothy, he, he got that touch. You know, he could do a little scissor and cut left, cut right. And people are going to fall for that. You know, Everyone knows the type of player you are, the p type of player you developed into. You know, we all respect that. <laughs> Mario, yeah. you and Soul, how'd you guys meet? Damn, bro. I'm, I'm really curious about that one. Great question, bro. I don't even know exactly how it, it happened, bro. I think, like, um, kind of had mutual friends. And then, I don't know. Exactly when it was or how like that kind of occurred i know we had like mutual friends i know for a while we kind of know who was who um and it wasn't until like i don't know Dude, yeah. if he doesn't know if you don't know who no, knows we, we kind of know um so <laughs> i think I, i think at the time we, we worked at a different restaurant um can like you, you say said, the names or no or no names that's something we're gonna get to in the in the future Dreon Cantina Bar and Grill. Dreon Cantina Bar. Wait, who is Dreon? Dreon. Brother, I already gave him a shout out. This is going to be another 20 bucks. Oh, ah. fuck it. Keep that promo running, buddy. Sheesh. <laughs> He's going to get another ad in this shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just fucking. All right. Um, but yeah, like we were saying, um, kind of knew of each other because of a mutual friend. Kind of started working with each other at one point. Um, that mutual friend recommended to that restaurant blah, blah blah and um so he scouted you uh, i think uh we kind of knew each other like all before that bro like and we kind of hung out like moved numerous times and i don't know like even before like yeah like even like it was an even like a friendship it was like a bondhood i don't know it was cool like we kind of clicked like from day one once you kind of ship Uh, we kind of met each other. We kind of started clicking. And then after that, it was just kind of like, took off from there. Yeah. Really, like, that's kind of how I see it. Um, it was just one thing after another. And it was just like, hey, bro, like, what are you doing? Oh, nothing cool. Oh, let's link up. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I think since then, we've kind of done so many things, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, this guy's like family to me, you know? You guys been uh, through a lot. Uh, yeah, like, even, like, way back then, you know? Like. Crazy. 
Um, and then I, through him, I met you. I've always heard like Tweety 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 Tweety. Um, and that's so crazy. Like we went to one of your birthday parties, the twenty first actually. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know where where were Five we? Five years ago. Uh, we were like, where were we? I don't remember what we were doing that day. And then you're like, oh fuck it, let's just go to a party. Um, he's like, let's just go to a party. And I was like, ah, oh, like. All right, he's like, but we're not driving. We're gonna Uber, um, and I don't think you gave me much details on it or anything. And caught an Uber. We went to the party. Um, we went up to like <laughs> we went up the hills, and crazy, <laughs> and then like they didn't want to let us in because I wasn't on the guest list. It was like security. Like this That's house was like the homie Kirby right here. It was it was <laughs> it was locked in. There's like security and stuff. Um, but yeah, like they let me in. I go and I was like, damn, like whose party is this? Whose party is this and stuff? Um, yeah, hey, I'm glad that little, listen though. Little, little did I know, like it was you, bro. And then eventually we became great friends. And like even to this day, you know, like sometimes like on my history, my birthday it pops up, like the histories. Uh, I mean the memories, and I kind of send them to you. But it's crazy, like I didn't had no idea, you know, at no, that time. I, I think I think he had done that because I was like, yo, like. You know, like any, because obviously, like, you know, people, when you go to a party, you take in, like, all these, no, you no, take like, a group, I'm, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I had told the homie, I was like, yo, like, you know, like, any randoms, like, that pull up in, like, groups, like, yeah. you know, like, don't, bro. Like, because it wasn't, it wasn't my place. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't my place. And, like, I didn't want it to be, like, crazy, nothing like that. Like, I just wanted it to be, be like, my loved ones, like, my friends, my close friends, and, like, my family, which I did have family there, you know? So, like, I didn't <laughs> want it to be, like, like, pasado de verga type shit. But you should have told me, fool. You should have told me, like, yo, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my homie Mario, and I would have been, I would have told the homie, like, yo, so I was gonna take hey, his home. Second one. That was the first one. Nah. I don't know where we were at. That and was the first like, one. That was, I know where it was at. Yeah. The pool. Yeah. That was the first one. That was the first one. And then. Um, but that's that's why that wasn't my place, fool. If it was, if it was, if it was where Chiva was, like. Oh, oh so I just uh, that by that one like. I that think after that, that, after that, after no, that, I became listen, a coordinator listen, listen, for your parties. <laughs> just, to no, clarify, flyer. <laughs> <laughs> just to clarify, guys. Um, so that day, you got an Airbnb, right? Allegedly. Fucking hills. Story building, fucking pool in the back. Blah, it used, to, blah, it used like, to be Aaron Donald's house, guys, by the way. Aaron Donald's house. Allegedly. Act allegedly, perhaps. But yeah. Might be. Coincidence. He had security, Quinkity. he had everything going on, blah, blah, blah. So, we pull up with the homies, like, we're drinking and shit, like, I brought a bottle, like, I had mutual friends there, and I was giving him a shot, blah, 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 everyone's vibing. <laughs> bro, he keeps asking me for a shot, and I was like, yeah, bro, like, fuck it, like, bro, it's everyone's bottle, it's your birthday, like, lock in, blah, blah, blah. The, sec- the fucking uh, security took a shot, fucking uh, DJ took a shot, bro. Literally everyone took a shot, and that bottle ran through. Oh, <laughs> so the bottle you br- you brought? No, bro. So whatever, like everyone got lit, blah blah blah. Bro, tell me why everyone sees me like giving him a fucking shot or like with the same bottle that I have, and fucking I get third party. So I'm the reason, I'm the blame that he gets fucking drunk and like we, we have were, to carry him yeah. out. Bro. Yeah, it was so, your fucking fault. No. So like he's literally asking me. Get a shot, give me nah, a shot. Everyone comes like, hey, do you mind if I get a shot with yeah, this person? Like, I was just like, yeah, bro. It's his birthday, well, you know, you can't like, say it no. Was, it was, like, with, it was with the DJ, with the homie. Because you guys so, saw. So you remember? I do remember. Is because of like your memory or like oh, video? Your oh, my video. Oh, I, you I, don't I, remember. I meant no, no, my video, my, my memory, my bad. I went up to Seoul and I was like, yo, let me get a shot. Like, let me get the bottle. Yeah, like and, I, and I got and the bottle. Your family seen that. And, and I, I go I go, I go, around the pool. I remember it. And I go I go with the homie Chris. And I was like, yo, let me, and then I, I gave him his, his shot, and then he's like, yo, your turn. And I take the big-ass shot. Oh, fuck that. And after that, I don't know where the fuck the bottle was at, fool, but I was like, I was like. Oh, but, y'a la verga, but I guess that, people y- seen sorry, that. That gave me a little flashback of oh, our trip, shit. our first trip. So put it that way, like, everyone seen me, like, asking for a shot, but me giving him the shot and, like, whoever he was with. I think you laced it. <laughs> and then like at the end of the night bro he was literally like they had to carry him out he took off his shirt he was throwing up everywhere and then like after that party had happened everyone was like oh we saw you giving him the shot we everyone bro, like it was literally so. asking me for for the shot you know yeah. 
Everyone knew it was Saul. It was Saul for sure. So that's kind of like the first time I kind of really met you. And then after, eventually, I think it was just like started coming around a little bit more. And then it was just kind of like, hey, what's up, Tweety? What's up, Tweety? And then you, we kind of like just kind of created a great, great bond. And it's like, I don't even think it's a friendship, you know? It's like family, you know? Like I can like filter off or whatever it is, you know? Uh, I think that bond that we have, it's it's awesome and it goes a long way. And honestly, I don't think you create friendships like that from, like, a lot of people don't. Like, a lot of people just kind of like, oh, he brought him, bro. Like, fuck, bring that homie, you know? And we weren't like that. It was the total opposite. Like, we we connected, we vibed. Sal introduced me to you, and then you introduced me to your homies, which eventually we're going to have that homie on the podcast. Yeah. Because that dude, shit, that dude is something else, which is a really, really good person. Um and I and I can't wait to have him on the on the podcast. You know, I think you guys know who I'm talking about. But yeah, I I remember like I, I don't know if it was like the first time, like one of the few times that I kind of started meeting you, and I knew you were a barber. I remember that you brought the the Clippers. Oh, how <laughs> shit! Was, was that the, the first time? Yeah, that was the first. Time. No way! I was, I was, I yeah. Was new. Bring your Clippers, yeah. and we're like, we'll do. You, you, we'll write it down. You brought the Clippers, and <laughs> we gave one of our friends a haircut. With GT. GT. Jeez. We put his initials that? put his initials on his head. I didn't come restaurant? up with those initials. I was just listening to the orders they were giving me. Yeah, like we put... No, I think I did it. Bro, I don't even... But you, weren't yeah. there. you weren't there. You were in Northridge. He was there. Was it? Allegedly. Allegedly. We, we, yeah, because right after, I think we had a flight. I think that's when we went to Cancun for the first time. Remember? Oh, that, that's did. how we all linked up together. I didn't, I didn't get invited. Uh, you were so raw. Yeah, but you made all the other ones. That Cabo one? Oh, my God. Alleged- I can't wait to share that story. Allegedly. Bro, I, I make know. that one, but fuck it. Yep. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, you did this. You fucked us off down the lane 405. You allegedly lost your passport. You the 101 and stayed down there on the You alla- allegedly lost your I passport. I couldn't make it. I'm sorry. You were with Dreon. Who the fuck is that? you out. Sorry, I kind of oh. make it. But yeah, I think that's what, how it kind of all happened, right? It was just like, or you, we met up like before leaving to Cancun and then we partied all night and we went so from we there. So we basically fucked Tweety off. Yeah, no, no, you guys no, did no. So we went. We, we were already leaving, you no, know? No, I, I remember. That's what I'm saying, you guys but can't tell me that because I don't remember. the flight and everything be, like, was like, for the picture. I don't think I had known him. You guys didn't know me because I remember you guys FaceTime me and I was at home. No, that was and the was first like, time I, I met you. I was then. like, where are you fools at? They're like, we're at the airport. We're going to Cancun. <laughs> and I was like, what? I'm like, I know this is, and they didn't even give me an invite, but I'm like, it's cool. I, so so then, I think I told so Mario to invite you, but, nah, but then, he's like, nah, then, he's not cool enough. That wasn't he the first time I met you. He doesn't have enough clout. Honestly, that was his fault. That was the first time I met you then. Allegedly. Oh, for sure. No? Oh? No. Oh, it was not the first time. But basically, you didn't. Like he, he, didn't, he didn't make the he cut. Didn't make the cut oh my Basically. goodness! Which is cool though. It happens. It Why happens. you guys pointing fingers at me? Um, am I like the coordinator or something? Yes. <laughs> that guy, bud. Director, operational coordinator of operations Damn. management <laughs> <laughs> of Dreon Management Public Relations. Um, hey, but the last couple of trips that we've all made it to, like, there's stories to tell. Um, and like going back to all of it, like kind of how we all met and stuff. I think like initially how you meet anybody or whatever, it's just that bond we've kind of created. Um, and that's brought us here. And I think it's going to cre- continue opening a lot of doors for us and for other people. I think it's just a privilege of what we got. And I think that people should definitely kind of get a glance at what our bondhood is, you know, yeah. um, the people we've kind of gotten met together. Like there's people that you've brought into me that I've been able to connect with and I've kind of brought to you. Likewise with Sal and stuff, and it's not like, oh, it's me that I met him, or it's you, it's we met him, you know? Bro, honestly, like, not even being cocky, but, like, people that, that we know, great, like, dream team. That's but, kind but, of, like, the goal. But there's, but there's people that, like, start to be like, oh, like, he's this, he's that, or, like, or like they want to be, like, you know, cocky, and it's, like, it's not about that, it's, like, you know, we're trying to help everyone out, like how we, how we said, which we could do that. Community we're trying to build. And I think um, we have great relationships with a lot of people. And I think that the foundation is kind of 
bonding, you know? Yeah, of course, um, of course. And same thing with a lot of people, you know? Like, people say, that, oh, that we're kind of hard, difficult to kind of get along with. But I think uh, a lot of it has to do with kind of how we treat everybody and the main objective we want to get to. Your brother. Um, so, guys, look. You guys basically, you know, got a little image of, you know, how we are, who we are, what we do, what we got going on. And from all of us, you know, we apologize why we've been backed up on like, you know, throwing, dropping this first podcast and like a bunch of others because we talk about about a lot of things, you know, what we want to get done, who we want to have invited and who we have lined up. You know, we have obviously we got people lined up that like you guys can't imagine, like there's so many people. I know like those of you guys are like, no, me and like you guys are like, oh, he's probably going to have like someone from the Rams or something like that. Which we do. An exclusiva. <laughs> An exclusiva, but, like, also, like, any of them that, like, that, like Mario and Saul are going to bring on, like, it's crazy, guys. Like, the amount of knowledge, you know, you guys could gain from it. And connections, like how we said at the end of the day, like, you know, we oh. want to connect. Network. We, we, we are, you know, all of us are from the San Fernando Valley. And our goal is to, like, connect everyone. Everyone, you know, if you're from somewhere to Arlita to San Fernando to Northridge, wherever you're from, you know. Like what we said, shout out to Social Barbershop. For uh, allowing us to be here right now at fucking two thirty in the morning. Two thirty in the morning. Shout out to Social Barber Shop. Shout out to the homie Chris Crispy and Edwin. Edwin that has his tequila as well. Cascanes. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for allowing us to be here right now. It's, yeah, definitely. It's been, been uh, really good. Thank you. Uh, thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you for everybody listening to us and staying up until the end. Of this podcast, uh, but we definitely have a lot of surprises for everybody, and I think the main goal of this is kind of the networking uh, with not just us, but kind of who we can put together. Um, but yeah, I mean, thankful for you guys for listening to us tonight, and the future. There's so many things coming, and we just want to work hard to make sure that we get you guys straight into us and kind of like our vision to what we have and what we want to put together. Um, so. Yeah, like I said, say thank you to everyone uh, for being patient and um, for being amazing and just, you know, waiting for that time, you know. We, we want to thank you guys for being great and everything that's coming soon and telling a little bit about what's coming soon. Come yeah. tune in be, for the not, next I mean, Now that I got you guys' attention, before we close this clip out, you know, we want to make sure you guys do check out our shirts. This is our shirt. We already showed you guys the hoodie. Now this is the shirt now, so make sure you check it out. Shout out to City Prince Co. And we also want to give a shout out to our videographer, Brian. Brian, make sure you come on here. We gotta, you know, we gotta show you too. Brian, guys, those of you guys that don't know Brian, bro, here he is. Hello, hello, hello. I'm right here. At Nerb Official, you feel me? Follow me on Instagram. Let's make sure we follow him on Instagram, guys. He's honestly been a great asset to our team and honestly has been one of the main reasons we can make this happen, you know. He's uh, going after hours for whatever we need. He's available whenever we need, and honestly, he's just a great homie. Getting to know him, is, he's a great guy. Honestly, guys, like, you guys will check out his work. Like, it'll speak for itself. But honestly, like, ever since I asked someone, like, yo, like, you know, the homie, this and that, he's like, yeah, I got you. And he showed me, you know, Brian's Brian's information, and he's always been, like, very respectful on his, you know, on it. His work is amazing, and I want to thank you, Brian, you know, for always being there for us. La Vision, Mario, Saul, and myself. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Make make sure you guys, you know, like, comment, subscribe on our podcast. And guys. make sure to share us. Uh, I know we're new, but there's a lot of new adventures that are coming. And we want to make sure that we reach everybody out there. Yeah, wherever you guys are watching us from, if you're watching us from Mexico, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Mexico, Estados Unidos, wherever you're watching us from, make sure you guys subscribe. Click on the link down like, below, share, subscribe. whatever, yeah. all that. You guys already know what the deal is. Thank you guys all for supporting us. And we are La Vision. Tuning out. Subscribe to La Vision Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>